going to show you how to work up the rows and where to place your stitches. Now you know how to do them. So I've got some rows here that I have done. This is just treble crochet and I'm going to show you the top. So as you can see, there's these little V's along the top of the work. Each of those V's is a stitch. So when you work into the stitch from the previous round, you want to make sure you get both of those, you pop your hook through both of those stitches. So this space here we're going to work into. I'm going to do a treble, so I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pop my hook through and if you can see here, I've gone through both of those little V, both sides of the V. Yarn over, pull through. This is for all stitches. Sometimes it does tell you to work front or back loop. I will do a video on how to work front or back loop. So we see we're working into the top of the, this is the stitch. There's a little gap, if I pull it apart, into here and you want to work in to both so yarn over, work into that V, so you can see you have two pieces of the V on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'll show you again, so this is the next stitch here. So this post, if you pull apart, you'll see there's a little space here. So yarn over, pop your hook, make sure you have two on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now if you've just worked a foundation chain, which is the very very bottom and it's your first row, you will only have sort of one loop because it's a chain, the foundation chain, so the stitch hasn't been built up. So you will just be popping it into that chain space and don't panic if you only have one sort of half of the V on your hook instead of both. So I'm gonna show you again. So yarn over, this is the stitch, this is the space here. See, I have two, if I can get them apart, both of those, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now sometimes patterns ask you to work through the front loop or the back loop, which means you just need to work one of these, so half the V. So if it was the front loop, it is this bit here, so let me pop my hook in. If you can see, it's just the front part of the V and the back part is still there. That would be both. And if it's just the front loop, it's just this part. So front loop would be, I'll just do a double in this one to show you. So that would just be the front loop. Some patterns also ask for the back loop, which is this back piece here. So you just need to pop it through the back piece. If you can see the front of that V is still there. And it's often used if you like, if you see hats and they're sort of cable uh, um, on like the brim of the hat, sometimes it asks, it tells you to do front or back loops. So that is how to do your front and back loops. And also, don't forget when you're, it doesn't ask for front or back loops, you need to work in to both. So make sure you have your two parts of your V on your hook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.